Okay, uh, this is a short video and just to show um, the new feature introduced in the uh, firmware 4.0. Let's get started. So I just set the oscillator to the sine wave. Then make it quark mode. So the first thing, oh, okay. So first uh, new feature is a much nicer piano mode UI. The function is basically the same, but uh, it's just nicer UI. can set the scale and the key uh, from um, sequencer configuration menu. So let's just set minor pentatonic key of F then The second is the basically its main feature in the granular mode you can have a multiple slicing points USB you can only have a one chopping point but uh, now you can have uh, up to eight slicing point so The first one. It's perfect for the short uh, one shot sample or uh, drum kits. And then you can change, you can edit any chopping point manually. starting point and length then um, if you set the, this new parameter slight spread to non-zero then the, the slight each slicing point will be applied to the the keyboard. So the slice one will be applied to C4, and then the next one is a C sharp one, a C sharp four, and so on.
and uh, this is another way to use the multiple slicing point. Um, the slice spread defines uh, how much distance uh, you want to set between the slices. So this can be used to emulate the real instrument having a multiple samples like piano or other things. But it only has the but basically the granular engine only has a about five seconds sampling length, so it might be useful or maybe not so much useful. Anyway, so I just uh, this is a piano example. This is a one shot, and then the another point I recorded another one. And then I set the, so basically the, the tune difference between the, the shot, it's about, it's a 14 half steps. So I set the slice spread to 14 and then so you can set, you can use uh, multiple samples.